Ben, really warm welcome to Reading Football Club. How are you feeling now that the deal's, uh, deal's done? No, I'm delighted. I think, for me, I think it's a really good opportunity to come here and just take that step into the first team game. And I just can't wait to get started. Yeah. How did these conversations come about? Who have you been speaking to at the football club? Uh, so I spoke to the manager. Uh, I think he came to watch uh, one of my games. And then after that, uh, Reading made contact with me. And I had a meeting with the manager and he sold me his project. And I just, I just really thought it was something that would be good for me. And I just thought, yeah, let's get going. Yeah, that's it. I mean, like, I think a few players have said that. You know, they're kind of keen on what the managers had to say. You know, and that's been a, been a factor for a few players. Yeah, no, I think, I think Ruben, he's got his system. And um, he, showed me, he showed me some clips on how he wants to play. And I thought I could definitely fit into that system. And it was definitely a big factor of, as to why I decided to come here, yeah. Mm, and obviously, I, I'm, yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I presume you had a lot of options too. You know, you're a young lad with lots of talent and stuff. So was that one of the, you know, that meeting with the manager, was that one of the fa big factors for you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there was a few options. But once I spoke with the manager and then obviously Reading being such a big club with great history, I just thought it wasn't even too hard of a decision. Despite the, the options, I just thought, you know what? I'm sold. Let me let me get here. Let's get to work. Amazing, uh, and obviously you know, and that's coming from Chelsea too, which must have been you know, obviously must have been an incredible experience because you were, I know you were training with some world class players, World Cup winners, in fact. So you know, I mean, what was your kind of growing up experience like there? Yeah, no, it was a uh, it was a great experience being there, um, being there for around 13, 14 years, and then eventually coming up and training with the first team, training with top players like N'Golo Kante. Jorginho learning off other midfielders, trying to take some stuff that I'm seeing from them in training and just trying to implement it into my game. And I think it was definitely a great experience for me and definitely helped me improve as a player. I was going to say, what kind of player are you? Are there, were the players at Chelsea or you know, around the world that you kind of model your game on? Uh, I would say from who was at Chelsea when I was there, uh, Kovacic, kind of similar to him. I think I can play all around the midfield, but I like to get on the ball, like to get the team going. I think. I can get the team ticking and also when I get into the final third I can create as well and, and try and get some goals. And as you touched on already, you know, you want to step up to first team football and you've had little tastes already really, haven't you? Because you've played those like EFL trophy games and that's pretty quite different to like youth football, right? Yeah, it's definitely it's very different, but I think it was a great experience for me playing against like League One, League Two clubs and seeing that I can compete and learning how the game is because it's very different, more physical and but no it was good, it was a really good experience. Yeah, and as you said, you know, that's all part of it now. We've got 44 league games ahead or, you know, maybe 43 after tonight. It, it's just a really big challenge, really hopefully exciting time for you as well. Yeah, it's definitely really exciting. I just want to try and play as many games as possible, try and help the team. And I just really can't wait. And then, you know, as you mentioned as well, you know, you, you kind of come here early in the season. Where are you in terms of fitness? What's the kind of last few weeks been like for you? Uh, no, I think I've, my fitness right now is very good. I had a full, well, full pre-season with Chelsea. Uh, played, I think, three games and just been training with no no injuries. So I think my fitness is good and ready to get going. Yeah, and that's it. You're going to be out here at Bearwood again soon, you know, train, train with his teammates. And it's always an exciting chapter, isn't it? You know, meeting new guys and, and getting to know their personalities too, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't wait. I think it would be nice to, to meet all the team. Seems like a great bunch of, bunch of lads. And yeah, I just can't wait to meet everyone and, and just train with them, yeah. And obviously you probably had a little bit of an eye on our results. We've been a bit disappointed with the league start in terms of our results, but we had a really good one in the cup. And yeah, what have you made of what you've seen of the team so far this season? Yeah, no, I think it's early days. Um, I think obviously there's some couple of disappointing results, but then a really good game against Mill, which I was keeping an eye on. Uh, where I think we showed what we can do. So I think it's time to put those results behind us and just kick on and try and push forward, yeah. Yeah, and lastly, obviously, you know, you're going to be stepping out in the red and shirt in front of our, you know, fans soon. I mean, how much are you looking forward to kind of that that process and meeting fans and, and you know, playing in front of them and giving them some moments to cheer about? Yeah, I can't wait to meet the fans. It's what what football's all about, really. And yeah, I really can't wait to go see them home and away, and just just go see them, meet them. And I think it'll be a great experience for me just to see the Royals. Yeah.